Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Wayne's World, the video game. My God, what a what a pinnacle of an art form this has become. Let's just tip that down. Yeah, so this is based on the film Wayne's World, obviously the hit Michael Myers film. Um, just try and get into the game, shall we? But Wow, that, that is an opener, isn't it? It's Friday, it's 10.30, it's time to party! I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garf. And now, I think it's time for an extreme close-up. Whoa! It actually, he does it! <laughs> it's an oddly... Very pixelated version. Wow. Garth get he gets one as well. Okay, now we're going to present the top 10 worst video games we played at Noah's Arcade. Regarding Henry the video game. Bix World Cup, Adventures of the Potato People, Where Is Our Stuff, Toxic Timmy, Sp Sputnik, the, the Bowl Weevil. I thought Sputnik was kind of cool. Nah. Gord's Fun Time Checkers, Supersonic, The Lime Tick, Toxic Timmy 2, I'll waste you all. Slob and Goober. And number one, this week, worst video game ever is Xantar the Gelatinous Cube. It really sucked. It was it was pale. It was bucket. I, I don't fully know what this is remotely in reference to. Uh, yeah, we're just playing a game of Xantar, save so kaboom. This is just this is the opening to the game. There's a loud explosion and a flash of blinding light. Oh, are they going to be transported into Xanta? Suddenly, Garth and I were pulled inside the video game world by a mysterious and unknown force. Yeah, and it felt really oogie too, just like the Twilight Zone. It was enough to make me want to spew. Anyway, we digress. We were stranding around inside this video game. It's so hard to read this text. It goes so fast when suddenly this pulsating purple appendage grabs Garth and takes him away. It was creepy. I particularly like the fact that whenever Garth's image leans forwards, it's clearly like a a completely different shot of his face to his body. Is sound effects in games are very expensive. To get to get that, like that's a hell of a thing. It's almost almost clips. Okay, wow, this that face on on that body is nightmare inducing. All right, let's learn the button, shall we? Jump, okay. Shoot guitar waves. Nothing, 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 and nothing, okay. Oh. Oh, he's, oh, I see what he's doing. He's, he's spinning his arm around before he attacks. It's, I don't think it's charging. It's definitely something, though. Is that a bagpipe? I, no, stay away. That's a reference to when he's playing the guitar and he plays Stairway to Heaven and the, the guy points to a sign and it says no stairway. That's i.e. the film. This is one of those platforming games where instead of being like a, a left to right style affair, it's uh it's like here's just a big old open space, get somewhere in it, we're not gonna tell you where. Oh, got a power up. The, the avatar looks nothing like him somehow. For one, I feel like he always wears a... I don't know, it's just, it's just not right somehow. I think it's because the head's too big. And it doesn't look anything like him. Right, can I shoot down? No. Okay. Interestingly there, his method of squatting is what's known as the Asian squat. It's a method of squatting prevalent in Asia and not common outside the rest of the world. The way you can tell is because he's got his feet flat on the floor. Uh, if you're if you're not Asian, there's a good chance if you were to squat down, you would raise your heels off the floor and do it on the balls of your feet. It's not. Um... All right, that's an accordion, and it says. Why does it say? It seems like it says excellent. Look, there's people outside. Oh, I think I died. All right, what what number got to zero for me to die there? 
Because I've got four hearts, which I assume is lives, and then thumbs up is. Uh, what's what's the one? Uh, health. It's quite hard to do anything with them because they're they're always at a weird level from you. You can't you can't shoot at any kind of angle. Nice. And yet they they can kind of hit you from multiple ways. Uh, surprising amount of sound effects in this. Do you know what the most surprising thing of all is? Right, I looked up who made this game before I before I played it. So it's released by THQ, which fair enough. They in my mind THQ generally made a lot of quite terrible games, but it it was developed by I think I think they're called Radical Entertainment, not to be confused with Free Radical Design, the people that made Time Splitters. Uh, Let's jump right over that. Oh, I died. Oh, there was a one-up. There was an up arrow. I wonder what that means. Does it mean anything? Oh, it's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and they, they made such classic games as Prototype 1 and 2. One of my all-time favourite games, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Also the other Hulk game. Uh, yeah, I've... A fair old list of games in there. Some good, some not so good. And this. Uh, oh Christ! I'm going to die before I get anywhere, aren't I? It's weird because there's, it's quite a busy-looking game. It's very hard to tell what will kill you. It's just, it's just very oddly designed. And this, the sound effects. Boom. Oh, that was probably a, a superpower I just used, and therefore wasted. Oh, I died. Alright, well... I seem to have gained some more health somehow. But I prepared for this eventuality, it being a very hard game. Right, there is a list of cheats here. Uh, right, let's get... Ah, Super Nintendo, here we go. Uh, stage, there is a stage select. Okay, I have to get to the title screen. Sometimes you could press start and then select and it would get you to the title screen. Right, so I've reset the game. Press X, L and R at once, then press up, Y and B. That's going to be difficult. X, L and R, then up, Y and B. You select it. Alright. It says do it at the title screen, which is difficult because there isn't a title screen really. I assume it's this. X, L, R, up, Y, and B. Oh, here we are. At the bottom, it's come up. So, and then you select to select stage to start to play. So, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Uh, wow. A lot of levels, apparently. Um, should we visit? Let's go to two, one, shall we? Just, just see what that will be. What? What could they deem is, is like one quarter of, of, of the game's film worth? Given that the, the first level is in a music store. No loitering. Right, I think we're in a coffee shop. Look, it's Cuphead. Oh, that's, a, that's like a, a little milk container, isn't it? Um, or possibly creamer, you might know it as. Cup of coffee, 50 cents. I'm... I'm on a hob. Note the donuts of an unusual. Are they do if they're donuts, and this is a coffee cup, and th but that on the left is a, a an oven. So the the coffee cups are massive, and the donuts are also massive. But the ovens or the ovens tiny. The scale of things isn't quite right, is it? Oh, that was a crawler came in. Oh, I've got an 11. The hell does that mean? All right, I've got an ultimate power up. I'm gonna immediately use it to kill him. Oh no, Donut Man attacks. I think Donut Man did actually appear in the film, kind of. All right, that sugar cube just disappeared. Yeah, fuck you. 
Oh, does that 11 mean I do bigger attacks now? Because they do seem to be bigger than before. Oh, damn it. Maybe it wasn't 11. Maybe it meant, like... It's turn it up to 11. It's the joke from Spinal Tap. That's what it was. Right, I've got an F. What would F be? No idea. Let's just run through it, shall we? Just leave. Right, let's go and get that power up. Turn it up to 11. Yeah, I've taken so much damage already. I'm definitely going to die before I get to that other power up. Oh, you can destroy the concept of heat. Interesting. Alright. Oh, I'm dead. Didn't didn't get to use my power up. This game is almost like aggressively offensive, isn't it? It's It's got some like I don't know, some kind of interesting stuff in there. But at the same time it re it, it retains nothing of like the joy of Wayne's world. And, and somehow, I, I don't know, I feel it would have been easy. And the opening of ga the game has like no promise on, on anything, does it? I suppose even weirder still as well is, is the opening d describe this as being a terrible game that they get sucked inside. That's weird. Right, will this, will I... Christ, you, you do really live forever in this. I'm going to skip to another level now. It's incredibly difficult to skip levels. Not like the hearty days of Demolition Man. Alright, what was it? L, R, and X. Up Y and B. Alright, here we go. So, should we go right to the end of the game? Which I think was about World 4. You know what, I've been going to the first world of each section. Maybe that's, like, world one of each one is that side-scrolling stuff and it's bullshit. Maybe, maybe world two is something better. Something different entirely. Maybe it's good. I might have misjudged the game. Okay, okay. It almost looked different and then I realised that we're in some kind of weird... Very Terraria, actually, looking world in which... In fact, actually... I, I was joking about it, but those trees do look very Terraria. <gasps> Street hockey players. They're invincible. The power of music can't get through to them. Keep off the grass. Can I? Did I just moonwalk? Oh no, he just walked into that tree and it confused him. Actually, it's a telegraph pole and it doesn't make any sense. I've just remembered. this. Can I jump him? No. This film had a scene in which they were all the... The uh, the village people, which means there's a good chance that that's a level in the game. Well, actually no, it's not. <gasps> I think I'm in a boss fight. It's a music-free zone. <gasps> it's Garth frozen in jelly. Uh, oh shit. I'm I'm I'm. I'm trying. I'm giving this boss more credit than it's worth, isn't it? You just sh you shoot it and run to the side. Is literally. Oh, I died. It's very difficult. I'm going to stop playing now because this game is oddly offensive to me. Or do I keep playing? Oh, I s I'll go to. I'll I'll visit one more world. Is what I'll do. Because that's kind of the best bit. Is is seeing what they decided to make levels out of. Because this film. It's not remotely set up to have a game made of it. Uh, right. L R. Even the even the fucking code's difficult to put in. L R X. Oh, y B. There we go. Uh, right. So we've seen bit of two, bit of three. I just went to four. Um, I'm gonna go three, three. Why not? What's it gonna be? Come on, village people. And I... Oh, no. We're in we're in the bar, which I forget what the name of it was. It was something cool. There's a tremendously fat man. Probably says on that wall what it's called. Ga Ga oh, yeah, Gasworks. It was called Gasworks. I, I remember that now. Oh, I killed that enemy without even knowing it. 
I suppose they did get kind of lucky in the, the fact that it's called Gasworks. You know what this game should have been? This should have been a mini game collection of various arcade games in arcade Noah's Arcade, just themed as Wayne's World. It it didn't need to be fancy or complicated. That that way they could shove in way more references. Yeah, take that. All right, that's. This actually, this almost looks like the sort of game that uh. Like you wouldn't believe exists. Oh, can I play? Can I play Xantar? No. Like the sort of game that, like, it, it feels made up. Like the Wayne's World video game. It, it just it when you say it, it's like, oh, they never made that. Surely. If you if you were going to make a video game based on a Mike Myers property, it would be Austin Powers, which I don't think they made, but. But in my mind, the game GTA London was was loosely an Austin Powers video game, based purely on the fact that it had the uh, convertible. I gotta stop. This is just this is so bad. It's it's like it's just, it's it's impressively bad. How bad it is. I mean, they, they didn't even bother giving like any other button anything to do. It's just it's just, it's just jump and sort of shoot. It's a it's a truly Truly bad game. <laughs> yeah. Anyone involved in this game should be in some way ashamed of themselves. Also, he's very squinty in the face, but that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.